Most people think of San Francisco as a train city. We've got cable cars, we've got historic streetcars, but in fact, where our ridership is, is on our bus system. And that's how I get around most of the time. Here on Venice Avenue, this is a big arterial. It is six lanes wide. It was always jammed with cars. And it was a mess, and we knew we needed to fix it. I take the light rail all the time and the experience is just very similar. As quiet, as easy, you're in the middle of the street when it picks you up. And the stops are less frequent so it's faster. It loads just like a light rail. You're getting on a flat thing, that's exactly what our light rail is. It's not that different. Yeah, I get there so much faster and it's been a major upgrade for uh, my life. And as advocates, we're really pushing for any capital projects to move faster. In, in a number of cities around the world, I think BRT is a solution that gives you a faster, more reliable system more quickly. Oftentimes, rail is a lot more expensive than bus. And if you could take the cost savings in investing in bus and, and use that money to invest in walkability, that is really going to benefit everyone. Before they did the Van Ness project, you couldn't get across the street in time and it was just frightening. You can see where crossing the street is a lot safer. When you have to cross, you've only got just a little short way to go to get to a safe island. It's all marked with the zebra markings. There's construction going on all around us, and bus rapid transit is a key part of that. There's 24 new high-density, high-rise condo complexes being constructed on the two-mile strip. We wouldn't have been able to get a light rail system up and running in time to meet those needs compared to getting the BRT up and running because it was cheaper and it was faster to build. You know, the 49 right here, uh, it's already up 13% uh, in ridership. And that's because we made these lines fast, frequent, and reliable. And that's really what attracts ridership. And that's what makes the overall San Francisco economy work.